Hi, this is Max Straw Bates, and today I'll be showing you how you use Windows Vista gadgets, or widgets, or even the sidebar, that's what normally people call them. Um, we've seen this in Mac OS X, so here's mine on the right hand side of the screen, all the way down, I have added new ones by downloading them, I'll be showing you how to do that also. But first, let's go down and enable these. So you want to find Windows Sidebar, right click on this, and click on Properties. Real simple. Now at the top it will say Start Sidebars when Windows starts. You want to click on this. So every time your Windows turn, or your Windows, or your computer, whatever you want to call it, starts up, it will always show up no matter if you update your operating system with new packs or up, or even just upgrading your iTunes and having them restart will always show up. Next, it will say sidebar is always on top of other windows. I do not have this enabled, but if you enable this, this means whatever window you have on up, the sidebar will always be on top of it. So you can always see that. I don't like this, so I've never had it enabled. I hit a button. Next, you can choose either if it's on the right or left hand side of your screen. Now it's on the left, now it's on the right. And underneath this, it will say display sidebar on monitor. I have only one monitor, otherwise if I have more, you could change this to have it on which screen you want the sidebar on. So that's all you need to know for this. So I'm going to cancel out. And next, let's go to the sidebar itself. Now, most people don't realize is you can click on one of your gadgets and drag it off the sidebar itself and put it anywhere you want. Now, it will change size, but there's a toolbar on always on the side. You click this. This is properties. You can change, you know, the location you're at, all this. Like, there's so many options. Um, next, you can always always right-click on it and change the, um, the uh, opacity. You bring it down to 10, or as high as 100. I always have mine on 100. Um, that's about it. You can also go to options from here. But I like to have mine right on right on the side. Next, you can add your uh, gadgets to the side by pre by pressing this plus sign up here. By it says gadgets. Your uh, screen will pop up. I have a lot of them downloaded, but you have like stock looking ones that look like something like this. So you just click and drag over here. And you can see the difference between the one I downloaded and the one that comes stock. Um, I'll be showing you how to do that right now. All you get to do is press get more gadgets online right down here in the right hand corner. Your internet will pop up to Windows um, website to the gadgets. Now you want to press see all gadgets. From here you can choose any uh, category you want. I'll go under tools and utilities. Um, there's about 30 page on this one. Um, I'll download something I don't have when you give me a second to up. I <laughs> have so many, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> Ta -ta -ta -day, Junior. Okay, I'll just click this one. I'll download this. Simple enough. So just click on it and hit install. Now it'll pop up and you want to press open. You don't need to save. And your sidebar will pop up on top showing you that it's working and ready for the install. So now all you got to do now is press install. Boom, it's right here. It pops right up, it's ready to use. Now you can change the properties by clicking the toolbar or right clicking on it and going down to properties. You can change like the size, colors, all that on top of that. But I don't need to, I'm not going to use it. It's just for a demonstration, but you can pick whatever you want. So that's pretty much all you need to know about Windows Sidebar. There's not too much left to explain. So just go on out and go test for yourself and have a fun time and send some screenshots shots if you wish. Show me what you got. Maybe I'll be jealous to get my own. So peace out.